could you tell a little bit about this Employee Free Choice Act and how particularly it will benefit communities of color? Oh, sure. Uh, first, I'll explain uh, the Employee Free Choice Act, uh, what, it, what it does. It, it, right now, the, the current law, the employer decides what the procedure will be for us to get a union. The Employee Free Choice Act reverses that. It also increases penalties for uh, for people, for employers that commit unfair labor practices and, and fire workers. Uh, and uh, so that's basically what it does. Now, because collective bargaining emphasizes equal pay uh, and fair treatment in the workplace, union membership can be particularly important for, for women uh, African Americans and Latino workers, as well as white workers, union workers earn about thirty percent more than their non-union counterparts. Same education level, same industry. If you're a woman, you earn about thirty-three percent more than your non-union counterpart. If you're an African American, you earn about thirty-seven percent more. If you're a Latino, you earn about fifty-one percent more. It also provides as you're more likely to have health care, and you're more likely to have a defined benefit pension. You're more likely to have short-term disability benefits. You're more likely to have paid vacation. So what it does is it takes low-wage jobs and it brings them up. The other thing that it does, and I think this is this is very, very important, uh, I think, y- unions really engage people of color in the political process in a very sustained way. We train them in running election. We train them as candidates. We get behind them and elect them to public office. Uh, We're probably the only organization out there, one of the few, I shouldn't say the only one, but one of the few uh, that really engage people of color in the political process in this structural and sustained way. For far too many Americans, the future is filled with unanswered questions. Can I get a job? Will my family be able to stay in their home? Will I be able to retire with dignity and see my children lead a better life? And these are the questions that we will answer affirmatively during the course of this administration. What you've just said, I think, really illustrates why we support the Employee Free Choice Act within the Compact for Racial Justice, because there are policies and practices that block access to people's livelihoods. It really counters what's being said by a lot of talking heads in the media that now that we have an African-American president, that we are post-racial. Dr. King said something very, very interesting. Dr. King says it it doesn't do you any good to be able to sit at the counter if you don't have the money to buy a hamburger at the counter. And what he was saying was that we really need to make sure that we narrow the income gap that really disadvantages African Americans. And unions help raise workers' pay and narrow that gap. We still have a lot of work to do to address these things and strike a real blow against what I consider to be the most evil system on the face of the earth, and that's racial discrimination.